Okay, ladies. So before we, we start on the arms, you should kind of be at this stage now. If um if you haven't fully like I have in, you know, the bit that you tie round, can you just get those, just get the two ends and just wrap them round, just wrap them round the neck. And then again, just poke just to secure them. Just to secure them in. Okay. Hi, ladies. So we're going to look at, this is part two. We're going to um, begin to look at um, creating some arms for your earth angel. But before we do that, um, I just want to do a quick um, recap on the head. So... How, how we kind of left it was you were poking the head and, you know, doing that round. We want to keep that nice, nice round shape in there. Now, sometimes when you get you get to that stage and, and it, again, it's personal um, preference with this. You might you might not like the fact that maybe, you know, we started with the core wall and you can see the core wall through. I don't mind it really. But with this one. Um, I'm going to, I've, I've kind of just shown you the example of if you don't like that, what you can do. So with the merino wool that you had, you have um, plenty um, in, in terms of the packs. You can take another piece of this and you can lay it just like you did the, um, the first time. Lay it over, smooth it, doing the same doing the same now what you've got to remember when you're doing this is obviously the head is becoming bigger so the more layers you you go on the the bigger the head is so you know be, be careful with that and then all you would need to do is you know again take a very very fine strip and you would tie that round so I've done that with this one so that I can show you you know what what that's like so if you haven't done that and you're happy with how it looked, that's fine. Um, if you have done that, then, you know, again, it's it's personal preference. But what you need to remember is this part here, which is like the neck part, we need that to be quite strong. So it's fine to add, you know, if your head kind of wibble wobbles, I mean, it's supposed to move around, that's fine and, until we secure it more. Um, but I was finding with mine, it was very wibbly wobbly. So I've just added some more fibres around, um, you know, again, tie them, tie them tightly and secure them. And then you're back to just poking round in a circle. OK, and it's fine again. If you feel like your head's a bit flat, just to, you know, move around a little bit. Just move around. So I decided this was the front of mine. So I'm not too worried about the shape of the back. If you've got a very flat back, which you can sometimes, especially if you're you felt in too much on one side. Um, but the way that you do that is just, you know, moving around, moving around as a ball. OK, so we're going to um, just put her to one side a moment now. And um, now to the um to the arms so excuse me this is um, a crafting pipe cleaner and it's got a chenille finish on it which makes it a lot easier for crafting with you can get some that are like nylon but um they're not they're not so great i found that these are so much better so in terms of our earth angel we're literally we're just folding that in half and we're just snipping them. Okay. So you only need you only need um half for that. Now again, this is absolutely down to personal preference. You can use the core wall that you did for your head, or you can use the merino wall. Um for you know for this as well now they will they they both act differently when you poke them with the wall i think when you're starting out core wall or bats is a lot easier for doing the arms um 
on the display one that I show at the beginning of this um, of these workshops, I actually used um, core wool. In fact, I think with that, I did actually use a wool bat, but, um, you know, very, very similar in terms of, of texture. And I think as a beginner, you may find it easier to handle and e easier to poke. Um, these, are, you know, they'll create a much, a much finer finish, you know, a much tighter finish on, on here. So, you know, you can do either. I'm going to show with the the core wall on here um, just for demonstration purposes. So you're just literally taking a piece and I like to just gently move that around my hands to warm the wool a little bit. And you're keeping a bit of a tail here. Okay, so I'm going to start at this end, leave a bit of a tail and literally we're wrapping we're just wrapping the wall around that pipe cleaner. Just wrapping it round. Just try and do it evenly if you can. And, uh, you know, with, with this, I think it's quite lovely and therapeutic, really. I don't go right, right to the end. If you get here and you think, gosh, mine's so lumpy bumpy, <clears throat> excuse me, you can just unwind it and start again. It's very forgiving. So I'm going to just turn this over. And what this is going to enable me to do is actually have a quite nice finish around here. But um, it'll create like little hands as well. So you just, just squeeze that ever so gently between your fingers and then just carry on. Carry on the wrapping. Now, again, you know it's a white pipe cleaner I'm not overly worried about little bits of that showing but you can go back over just go over it okay now when I get to that stage what I like to do very gently is just poke near to the end just very near close up to where you've made the hand now you have to be careful because running through a pipe cleaner is a wire. And if you hit the wire with your needle, it's going to break it. So it's much better just go very gently around the outside where you know that bit of chenille is just to secure it. It doesn't need an awful lot. But I find that if I do that little bit of poking, it kind of helps to keep it in place. You'll get some fluffy bits off there, but that all adds to it. And then you just carry on, just carry on winding. So you can see now I have a definite shape of a hand there emerging and a little wrist there. So again, you can do that a bit tighter. Now you see there, so when that's the, the other thing with, um, with wool bats or core wool, it will break off, but don't worry. You just continue that round wherever your tail is there. And just get, get your needle. And again, just close, close to where the chenille bit is, just gently poke. And you can turn it over. And you can do the other side. And that's all you do. That's all you do. Really simple, quite therapeutic. You're just winding on. So what I'll do now, take that piece of wool create a little bit of a tail again. And again, you can just poke these in after. I just find it easier if I've got a tail to hang on, hold on to there. I'm just gonna go back to where it snapped off to make sure that I don't have any bits. And you can just tighten, just tighten it. Turn it round, these little bits. Just wrap them. So they don't have to be tight because you're going to go over, over those. And we're just going to carry on. Just carry on. Now, if you bend your pipe cleaner, that's roughly what we're looking at as a middle bit. 
And the reason I'm showing you this now is you don't have to go all the way around the pipe cleaner. You can. And sometimes I have to say I do. I get a bit carried away there and I just I just carry on, carry on with that. But you don't need to because what we're going to actually be doing, I just, again, poke along the chenille. These arms are actually going to be going in between this wall. Okay. They're going to be going in between that. So you're not going to see, you're not going to see all of it. Okay. But again, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you how you want to do that. So just carry on, carry on with this and I'll be back in a moment with you okay ladies so by now you should have something that resembles this i decided to completely cover mine you can see here i've gone a little bit thicker um and it's fine it's fine to do that but equally like i said if you just want to do the two ends on the arms it's fine so generally you would if you put them together now when you're handcrafting something, you're not going to be able to completely duplicate one thing the same as the other. That's not possible. They can do that in mass production, but you can't do that when you're handcrafting. So I guess, you know, again, if you start like that, then um, thinking that you're not going to drive yourself mad. So I'm happy these hands look a similar size. They're not exactly the same, but that doesn't matter. Um, what you can do with your, your needle ever so gently is go along and just poke. Again, mind the wire, just poke along. And if you've got any fluffy bits, it helps to secure them. Now with this Earth Angel, her arms are pretty much covered with the dress and her hands, she's actually holding um, a flower. So... You know, don't don't stress about it. You probably realise as well by now that actually isn't this a similar shape to a foot? And absolutely it is. You know, you do exactly the same, the, exactly the same process. You do a, a little bit of extra on, on the feet. So if you um, were to progress and want to do um, angels that have feet, and I act, I've actually got... Um, I've got one here, so I'm just going to show you that one with feet. So this is this is one of my angels, um, and she's actually sat. She's sat on a little swing, and so she has a, a dress that I've secured there. And you can see with her feet. So I've just made those feet a little larger with laces. So she looks like she's got little ballet shoes on. You can add um, embroidery and things as, as I've done here. But exactly the same process, you know, where you're at now in terms of making the head and making the, the body shape and the arms. So with, with these arms, um, I've used merino there. But again, they're covered up with the, you know, with the dress. Another, another version. So I used um, wool bats core or core wool I think I've used the core wool for that um this is um a, another version another version of of an angel where um and again I, I I'll show you in in future episodes how you because she doesn't have legs she just has um like underneath the dress an area that I've done so that I can actually stick her down so I've just added a little bit of tool here. But the reason I'm showing you this one, and again, it's, you know, the in, in the same way, I've actually used merino wool for her arms. So you can see how they're, you know, they're a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter on, on the weave there. So, but it's nice to try, you know, different, different ways, really. So again, um, in future episodes, I'll show you how how to use that but it's it's the same kind of concept that we use in there so I'm just going to put them to one side and we just get our head back 
So at this stage, what I like to do very, very lightly and gently, you can maybe use, um, I have some cheaper um, needles here, just to very finely. I just want to like comb it really, but very lightly, just to make sure that I've still got all the fibres going in the same direction. Now you're going to have some pieces that are longer, some of that are shorter, and but don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. OK, so at this stage, I like to kind of relook and say, OK, well, I know that's where the front of my face is going to be. And what you're trying to do at this stage, and again, you don't have to be, you know, like on the ball with thickness, but we just we just divide in. We just divide in this again, very gently. And you can use just use your needle again carefully. Because what we're we're aiming to do now with these arms. Now, um, I remember when I first started with these arms, and maybe because I'd hit the wire when I went to secure it, they came apart in two pieces. So don't worry. If yours comes apart in two pieces, just lay them as as I'm showing you here now, lay them just as as close to each other as as you can. But this hasn't, it's not happened on this one. So, okay. So we just, we're getting those fibres there. And I just want you to have a look at this stage because they have a tendency to have a life of their own and move down. So actually for arms, that's a bit low. So what I want to do is get in the wall right up near her head. Okay. So I'm going to pop them there. There. I'm I'm happier with that. I'm happier where they are. So um different people do this in different ways. So I'm going to show you a way that, that I found that I like to do with this. So we have the arms in place. And I like to get a little bit of my natural stuffing. This is a plant stuffing, but you can use anything near a bit of core wool or and just to roll it up, and I like to put that just over the top, and then bring the dress down, okay? And then literally, all I'm going to do now is just poke very gently, just around what is going to become like the shoulder area. And then here, which is going to be like the bust area, just underneath. And again, don't worry, because at this stage, it can look quite Frankenstein. You think, oh, what's that going to look like? Now, the other thing as well is these can move around a little bit. So you can get one arm longer than the other. Again, just very gently pull them. And if you hold on to them, lift your arms up gently. Yeah. Because that, that ultimately is the position she's going to be in. So we just look if they meet. So um, the harder part is if that happens when you, you're like at the stage of doing the dress bit and securing everything. So at this stage, we're just taking our time, you know. You might think already, oh, it's starting to look like a bit of a dress, that Sally, you know. So the stuffing pops out, just pop that back under. And what I'm going to do now, I'll put a sideways to be able to see that, okay? And I find that if I just hold the wall like this and just start to poke, again, watch your wires. I find it a lot easier to do that. I'm going to swap my needle because I'm just conscious I was using my cheaper needle. It does make a bit of a difference, I think. These are much much finer needle I like to use Heidi feather needles I found I've, I've tried lots of different types of needles and I found hers to to be the easy ones to use and give a nice finish really so you're gonna carry on so all I'm literally doing here is bringing this wool together poking it bringing it together now you might might look at that and think gosh it's looking a bit scruffy that Sally don't worry just, you just carry on poking and securing because it's all going to be covered yeah 
And what we're trying to do here initially is just get that shape, you know, the natural shape that you get in your body, you get your head and your neck and a bit of shoulder in your arm. So as long as you're doing it in a shape that's resembling that, you're fine. We're not sculpting. We're just literally shaping the wall. You might think, oh, she's got a big bosom there, but that, that's all going to go down. Okay. And we just, again, we, we're being careful with that wire, ladies, which is why I like to just put a little bit of stuffing in there. Yeah. So you're going to keep doing that until you've got a, a degree of, of firmness. Obviously, I need to do that a bit more. I don't have that yet, but I just want to show you. And I'm just measuring her arms. I'm happy with that. They're where, where they need to be. Okay. So we're just going to do that and go under the arms. You can lift the arm up a bit if you want to do that and just poke the wall. So I want you to carry on doing this. This bit here, you can just, just stroke that, stroke that down because that can act as an underskirt. Just got a bit of fluff in there when we start to layer the dress over. So you can just pull that down with your needle. Yeah. You'll find these fibers come off really easy. So just be be a bit gentle with them. The other thing as well is um at this stage and you know different people have different ways. I like to do the head first and get the wool on for the face. Some people don't put the wool on the face until later, but uh, all you need to do is just be careful. You know, just be careful. She'll start to pick up other colours when you introduce other colours. But again, I kind of like the natural feel of this. I'll just carry on. OK, so what what we're aiming for with this? So if, if we hold it here, we're just aiming for a degree of firmness, just holding in place because you're going to. Excuse me, you're going to overlay this with other fiber so it doesn't have to be too too firm okay so you're just going to carry on poking carry on poking and you can turn her over and you can do the same here and just be careful you don't get too near that wire okay so carry on doing that and I'll be back with you in a minute. 